What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And right here, man, I, I really felt bad about this. No, I didn't, bro. I Why would I lie to you? I had a yo, I it listen. I revel in the fact that I could possibly ruin this guy's Super Bowl and swerve him at the same time and make him have to just rage for the rest of his day because Madden is probably the only game that I really take with me wherever I go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I gotta go to work, I gotta whatever I gotta do, I'm taking it with me. If I get a freaking vicious loss and it's right before I go to bed, I can't sleep right, dog. You know what I'm saying? I can't really function. Like, it, it's something about it. You know what I'm saying? The competitiveness of the game. Even though they've taken away a lot of the attributes that make the game competitive, you still, if you're a competitor, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you really. People can't really talk to you if you're having a bad day with Madden. It don't matter who the person is. You can love this person, whatever. Bro, this game makes you want to go to Antarctica and just fucking just kick a baby seal. Like this, this game is really, really wild. It, it, it brings out emotions that I've never experienced outside of this. You know what I'm saying? Like the game, it, it's just really, really wild. But I'm gonna slow down some of the things that really piss me off in this game. And we're gonna start off right here. Um, I, I, I don't know why they think that this is okay i really just don't know but yeah nice dance bro shake your ass watch yourself all right um i really can't explain oh yeah predetermined pick okay and that's what i'm yo all right it doesn't really matter for everybody that's been submitting um their uh recommendations for madden 18 whether it's to me on twitter at g Myers world you can see everything right there you go ahead and follow me on instagram twitter facebook all that stuff um, I'm taking recommendations right now that I'm gonna be sending to EA. I'm gonna be putting a video together uh, right there. I don't know how that just happened, but it is what it is. And um, yeah, a lot of you guys have been giving feedback. One of those things, one of my major things though, is that predetermined pick that you just saw, where my my offensive player is already fighting the defender. He's not even trying to go for the ball anymore, and the guy's punching him in his face, and uh, you know I'm like stiff arming him to the ground, stuff like that. That's already uh, predetermined by the CPU right there. He tried to strafe, but when you try to strafe, your guy just stops moving, so you probably shouldn't strafe. Um, that's just, that's just a pro tip. Don't ever stray for Madden 17 or 16 if you're still playing that. Right here, just get dotted. Just get dotted, bro. Even though my arm is mad long and right in the way, and I was behind him, they moved me in front of him so I could, you know, it could become realistic. It is what it is, and I'm not complaining about it. I'm not even, bro. I'm I'm so far gone that I accept that at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, what 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 is the point of me complaining about that in April? We have to start looking forward and seeing if we can get something done. For August with Madden 18, you know what I'm saying? And as bad as people think, like, yo, bro, nothing's gonna happen. We got some things that were adjusted for Madden 17. If we're being honest about it, you get swerved right there. Get, yo, swerve on them. We got some things adjusted. We just gotta figure out a way to do it the right way and not just ri yeah, just just running in for six. Run in, yo, oh, so, oh, that's a long celebration. Okay, look, see me in the locker room, bro, because you almost fumbled the ball celebrating. See me in the goddamn locker room. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's Deion Sanders, bro. That's Deion Sanders with all that awareness, bro. All that awareness, and he just stands there and watches it happen. And you see, that's the thing about it. That's why I swerve dudes with no mercy. And even though I said this guy's innocent, he's really not innocent because he knows what he's doing and he's taking advantage of what EA Sports has provided him. And I'm not mad at him. You know? Oh yeah, okay, okay. I get an animation, try to catch the ball, so stupid, and then the ball drops. Yo, pick that. Yo! You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we gotta understand something. We have to be ready, willing, and able to deal with whatever EA Sports is, is going to provide us. And that's it's as simple as that. It's nothing else we can really do. We have to make sure that we can understand and comprehend that this is what it is right now. So to, for the rest of the year, like I said, I've been doing this since... I've, I've, I I've haven't been playing this game seriously since, like, December. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe November, because I realized what was going on. So instead of being stressed out having my heart palpitate and, you know, go having a, you know, stressed out, my whole damn hair going gray. Instead of doing all that, I embrace what EA Sports has provided. And I've embraced the swerve. And that's what you individual, you gotta find something to get through it. Oh my, God. yo, brother. Listen, man, a lot of people drink alcohol, they do other things um, to get away from their stress. You know, me, I, I fully accept when I put the game and what's gonna happen. And I drink heavily as well because of this game. But that's neither here nor there. Like I said, I'm not recommending that to anyone, especially if you're young. For all my older dudes, you already know. You gotta have. You, you better be drinking when you're playing this game. I got a lot of other individuals that do other things. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's April. We gotta figure out a way to get the feedback in, right? I don't know how the hell he picked that. I don't know how he picked that through my bot. Bro, I, yo, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't matter at this point. Uh, they are bringing the Frostbite engine um, into the whole... What the hell is it? Okay, yo, you know what, bro? Look, just do, do whatever you gotta do. Um, they're bringing the Frostbite engine to Madden 18. I'm very, very interested to see 
I know graphically it's gonna look a lot better. I know that much. It's gonna look a lot better graphically. Uh, it's gonna be a lot smoother as far as the gameplay goes. As far as all of the other mechanics, I'm, I'm not sure what to expect. I'm I, Listen, I'm 100% sure that I don't know what to expect. So, I don't know whether to be excited or to cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know which one to do because bottom line is everybody's talking all this garbage. Oh, bro, I'm done. I'm done. It's going to be the same guys playing the game in August. That's why I never say I'm not going to buy the game because they have the license and I don't want to play a game where they got a guy named Mick Rubble, you know what I'm saying, instead of McNabb. Like, I just don't want to deal with all that. And maybe it's that. Maybe that's the reason that EA Sports gets the best of us. You know what I'm saying? Um, it hasn't got me to that point. Every, to where it's like, you know what, I can't deal with it because I don't want to take the game. I haven't taken Madden seriously since 16. Maybe even 15 with the play action reach around, aka play action uh, end around, but I haven't really taken it seriously, um, you know, since um, 25 ended. I love Madden 25. But, oh, let's go, OBJ. And um, that's really what the problem is. But do I rage because it's in the moment? Yeah, because I can't believe that they're allowing these things to happen. Like that catch right there even though I'm the one that got it, I can't believe that they allow it to happen, so I'm gonna rage in the moment. But when I take a step back and I look at it, I'm like, yo, I'm the douchebag for playing the game, so why am I mad at EA Sports? Oh, he, I thought I thought he swatted that, good stuff. Um, so all in all, now that we get to the whole point, this guy's not innocent, because you, I showed you what he was doing to me, you already know I'm gonna swerve his pants off, and his panties, hashtag TSG, but, you know, he knows he can just throw the ball up and wish and you know, wish and hope for the best and everything's gonna be okay. So he's taking advantage the same way that I am. Cause he's moss me, he's done mad crazy stuff. He just don't got no stick, bruh. He don't know how to really maneuver. But once he find once he comes over to the dark side and realizes that this is where he wants to be, now he could ruin your day. You're probably watching this video like, oh bro, nobody ain't swerving me, I got the D. No, you don't. No, you don't, bro. You haven't played a dude that knows how to swerve your panties off yet. If you think you got D for the swerve, you, bro, don't even worry about it. Don't even set trip for one second. It's on and popping. This dude right here, man, he really came out with his pants down, dog. And I thought he was going to stay because right now he put up a 60 burger. I thought he was going to stay for the whole thing. Like, why would you rage after this? You know what I'm saying? But he did what he had to do, man. And he sent me a really, really nice message at the end of the game. I'm going to see you guys next time as you read it. One love.